we're going to discuss how to display a workflow log for a particular purchase order or for a particular anything okay so this is very important and this is basic and everyone should be knowing who logs into sap how to check a workflow log most of the time you will have a workflow log so suppose i want to see the workflow for a purchase order particular so i go to me 23 and and not lots of times you may not may not have a purchase order workflow but if there is a workflow it will always come here you click here you will have the service for object button and about and if you don't have it it can be either security or the theme you have chosen and you click on workflow overview okay so here since there is no workflow it will not show up but suppose i want to see another workflow probably we have a workflow here so we can just show you so imagine i and first i need to find a place where we have a workflow already created so we have a bunch of workflows here which we have created okay so i'll just get a sample so this is the one on seven one zero okay so suppose i want to see this workflow and for this particular invoice so i go to fb03 so any transaction or oh, that specific so for transaction to display a vendor is fb03 and i need to get the company code which is 1710 and i press there and i once i press this i click here okay and if i go here and i click on workflow workflow overview and here you will see all the you will see the workflow log that is that has been there so if you want to see you can see this is in process and it is with this agent okay so this is these are important stuff that you want to see okay so this this tells you with 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 whom it is sometimes this may this may appear as as uh, as information so uh, let me show you what it might appear so this was in process that means someone has already is already executed it so i'll just click replace here and if you look it will turn out to be different so if you now look it doesn't show the agent so if you click on information okay you can see this is the user so if you want to see the actual user id you can just click on key on or shift f5 and you can see the user id okay and if you don't want to see it by default it's key off but again if you want to see the user id you can click on key on okay so in this way you can you can do you can see the actual user id with whom the the work item is there okay so this is the way how you can see a workflow log and how you can see uh, the work item a dialog work item is assigned to which users